Brighton have two forward here. Sharp jumping, Heath looking to collect. Adrian Heath, number 10. And here's Sharp. And now King. Clements out quickly, and Sharp following in, put it wide. Andy King, who's often got that ability to arrive in the scoring situation. Foiled by Clements, Sharp ran it wide. Crooks working back, and the referee felt that Crooks played the ball. The crowd thought otherwise. Richardson looks for Sharp at the far post. And it drops for Sheedy. Well, Clements was almost taken by surprise. The marking ahead of Bailey is Price on Higgins. Lacey on Sharp, and Sharp had skidded almost into his path. Get it off, Paul Price, in fact. Irving. On from Heath, and Sharp. Well, however ma many men you get back, if the ball is played in with sufficient quality. Richardson takes it. Perriman with a rather tentative header. Sheedy, and here's Heath, and King! Everton find a breakthrough. Three minutes into the second half, Tottenham's tendency to play square at the back caught them out because Heath sprung the trap, and King was unmarked to beat Clements to it. And Tottenham will be doubly determined now try and make the set piece work for them it's off the bar diving in was Terry Gibson Lacey again disturbing Everton at the near post it was deflected onto the bar by Arnold credit the goalkeeper for the save it's blocked by Heath Galvin looking to attack Stevens and Crooks. They are beginning to make a chance or two, but the substitution will take place as we look again at Crooks' near miss from Galvin's cross. He's working thus far for Everton. He played the pass in for King's goal. He's been the player fouled by both Tottenham central defenders that has led to bookings. King! Goal! Sharp turned it over the line. Andy King went in strongly here and the ball favoured Everton but Sharp was in an offside position for the Everton supporters it would be almost like winning the cup itself and Gibson with a header acrobatically held by Arnold as though it was beating Arnold to his right. But Tottenham's FA Cup reign has come to an end and for Everton, the honour of stopping that bid for three successive victories. Andy King, scorer of the first goal and the creator of the second for Graham Sharp. Certainly Everton's finest hour since Howard Kendall became manager here. And their impressive record at Goodison Park, too much in the end for Spurs. Tottenham's last FA Cup defeat almost three years ago was to Liverpool.
And tonight, it's their demise that is celebrated on Merseyside again. A final score at Goodison Park. It's